the, the house and Cuddy do definitely, uh, the relationship between them develops, they get closer. Uh, I don't know what re exactly what has changed in house uh, emotionally. I think it's more a question of really disintegration. I think house is uh, was never that stable a personality to, to begin with, and he has the potential. The seeds of his own destruction are, are carried within him. He's, he's uh, he is, I think, a character who is gradually, in fact, sometimes not so gradually, uh, just unraveling. Um, and that uh, that disintegration, that vulnerability, um, I think brings uh, brings out certain uh, feelings in Cuddy. The two of them uh, have have known each other, liked each other for a long period of time, more than liked. Let's be honest. Um, and uh, I think she detects this disintegration in him, and that that in turn brings out feelings of. Um, um, you know, wanting to protect or heal or take care of uh, uh, this this unraveling character. The fact that he's has it, having hallucinations at all is as puzzling to him as it is to anybody else. He is that is really part of his his task is to try and um, work out the cause of this disintegration, this um, psychic disintegration. Um, and he, to begin with, he goes for the sort of material causes. This could be, um, this could be MS or it could be an, inf an infection. This could be causing these various things. Um, because he has a, he has a, he, I would say he's on, superficially skeptical of psychiatry and psychoanalysis. Actually beneath that, he, I think he's probably rather fears it, fears it for the reason that I was describing earlier, that it strays into an area of the unknowable. Um, and that's not somewhere where House really likes to be. He likes to deal with, with the knowable. The House has the potential to do great damage. Uh, he, he is, it's not that he's, he's violent, but he is uncontrolled, emotionally uncontrolled, and can do, uh, is capable of doing great damage. I, I suspect that whatever damage he does towards the end of season five is going to be where we pick up with season six. Inevitably, it's, it's, uh, has terrible uh, has a terrible impact on on Wilson and Cuddy and the people who work for him. Um, and he's a man with a small circle of friends, and that that circle gets um, it just turns into a knot. Really, it's not even a circle; it's a knot, a tightening knot. I th I have really enjoyed this season. I mean, I enjoy doing it anyway because it's a great lot of people to work with. But I've um, I've enjoyed the ones I've seen. I haven't seen them all because I'm, I'm always watching like that. But um, the ones I've seen, I've enjoyed very much. Um, and I, I do think we have uh, we have advanced. I know that um, you know it's very tempting for, for the audience or even people working on the show to think, oh, it's not like the you know there was some golden age. It only happened last Wednesday, but even last Wednesday was a golden age, and it's not the same now. Well, I disagree. I think. Um, uh, I think that we have done some things this season which have been uh, um, better than anything we've done. And certainly the last uh, um, three or four shows uh, I think are absolutely uh, terrific.